My name is Alex Pecos. I graduated from CIA in 2004 in jewelry and metals. I make things for people upon request. I like to be a mediator between people who have ideas but don't necessarily know how to get them created or produced. I just make things that I like and assume that other people will like, which is why I like to work with people too. It's important that your, your clients are happy and they feel like they're walking away with something unique. The collaboration in my line is very important. This is my little work corner. I'd say the tool I swear by is the jeweler saw. I've always been like really drawn to this tool. I prototype usually right in material. Like I can get a, a point across quicker in metal than I can on paper. I'm inspired by a lot of stuff. I was finding a lot of playing cards when I was walking around. And they always had some neat creases in them, so I'd remake them in metal. I was always very into using found objects and like metal that I didn't necessarily have to pay for. It started off with the keys, like when I was working with this jewelry designer, when there was slow time, I'd just start cutting into my keys and make them look different. People started liking them as jewelry, and then when they found out that they were functional, it started turning into like this new idea. It's the key to the bike shop down the street. It's for the owner of the shop. Cut off the stock, like the headstock of it. I'm gonna attach this uh, version of a axle nut from a bike. I took a mold of an existing one and had it cast to brass. Attached to the key, it's gonna be sticking off like this. I'm gonna set a tiger's eye where the axle should be. Bicycles are a hobby. It combines creating and making while still having something you can take somewhere and ride somewhere. It gives you the sensation of being able to create and be creative but have like a functional, usable tool. Some of the kids I know here that like went to Pratt or FIT, they're taught like how to make product and how to like design for a marketplace where CIA was more like be loyal to your work and make your work. That school was amazing and I didn't really realize it until you start seeing who you're up against. The metals apart was insane. I had Matthew Holler and Kathy and they were making us make like chain link. It's like, nuts, no one makes chain link, but we can, and that really sets work apart. It just makes it like more like real, more personal, more authentic. Like, yeah, this is like handmade. I'm not buying my parts. Craft is an enormous part of the process. I think there's like a transition in the market where it's like, if I'm gonna be buying something, it's gonna be awesome, yeah. or it's gonna be mine, or custom made, or handmade. I mean, even if like you don't know the designer or creator, I think that you at least deserve to know it wasn't made in some factory. I was taking classes at CIA in high school. I mean, I was always part of the art world in Cleveland. This education was figuring yourself out, figuring your work out, and it's just an absolute luxury. You gotta know, it's not a joke. It's not something you do because you're not good at anything else. It's something you do because you really wanna do it. Cleveland gave the opportunity to live affordably. It was like a small enough town that you could kind of feel like you owned it a little bit without going overboard. Me and a couple graduates, had a pretty awesome studio in Little Italy. We were making some of our best work. When I was here, I met this jewelry designer, and basically she gave me a job at Coach making a line of their jewelry. I saved some money, moved into here. It was tough, you know, because like, I just started off kind of small and just did my own thing, and then things started working out. I don't exploit myself, I don't exploit my work. Um, I don't try to, I don't want to. I just make it and continue making it. I'm very selective with what I, what I make and who I help. I understand metalwork enough to be able to modify something into what people need or want. I follow like, a very natural path.